on this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Stanley Miter Box. Here's a look at the Miter Box. It comes with two pans. Here's the saw that came with it. And this is the package that came with the Meyer box. This is the bottom side of the Meyer box. There's this thing here I want to talk about. You flip it over and then there's another one on this side. You flip it over. I'm not sure what these two are for. I'm gonna assume it's so when you put the Meyer box on the table, you could push it against the table so the Meyer box doesn't move around. I'm not really sure what they're for. This is the only thing I could think of that they could be useful for. There's also a screw hole here and another screw hole here. You could screw the Meyer box onto a table if you choose to. So if I wanted to, I could screw this screw in here and screw an another screw on this side. But I'm not going to. I'm gonna flip this back and flip it back. I'm not gonna use it. There's a flange here and another flange here. So the miter box could be clamped onto this table. It's not really a table, but it is a table. There's one clamp. Now I gotta clamp on this side. Okay, the miter box is it's not gonna move now. This storage area, it's good to keep the pants there so you don't lose it. I have a pencil here. There's enough room to put a pencil here. I gotta cut this piece of wood. I draw a line there, so that's where I'm gonna cut. There's a lot of holes here where you could put the pants in and then you turn the pants to tighten it up. I'm gonna put it in this hole. So here's how it works. Just push it in and then you turn it, push it push the wood against the side over here. I'm gonna put it in this hole. It, it's not really screwing into the hole. You push it into the hole and then when you when you turn the pan, you're pushing it against, you're tying it up. Here's how the cut look like. This here is a 45 degree cut, 22.5 degree cut, 90 degree. And then there's also a cut here too. I gotta do a 45 degree cut.
Next, I'm gonna cut this stud. The stud is here, I put the two locking pin on. I'm gonna start cutting. I think it went through. Nope. There's a little more. And here's how the cut look like. This saw I have a belt and saw stuff on top. This is thing right here. Go all the way across. The way this work is when the saw stop touches the top of the miter box, the saw is not gonna go any lower anymore. So you're not gonna cut the bottom of the miter box. There's something you might want to know. When I first got the uh, miter box, I wasn't able to cut through these on um, bigger stud. I would cut about halfway and then the saw would get stuck and then I would just give up. And then after I cut through so many of these, I cut so many of these little ones and then I guess from experience I got better and now I could cut these on bigger stud. The point I'm trying to make is that these thicker stud, you gonna you gotta be a little stronger because if you're not you're gonna be you're gonna have a hard time cutting through these. But for these smaller wood, I'm gonna assume most people could cut these easy. My name is Walking, and thank you for watching.